What's up YouTube, it's your boy PickPlug back again with another video and today we're going to be hopping to Friday, February 2nd's picks for today. Now, yesterday we did have a little bit of a rust day considering that uh, nobody was actually expecting the Lakers to actually win against the Boston Celtics considered that they did not have LeBron and Anthony Davis. That was actually not um, calculated in my video because at the time they were both eligible and after that video they were actually ineligible. So if that information came out earlier, I would have been able to change out the picks a little bit, but that is how um, most of the time this goes. Unfortunately, um, things aren't guaranteed and they're not for certain, but that did actually mess up yesterday's picks. So hopefully we are bouncing back today and having a better start off to the month. We are gonna be making up for that in today's video. And actually in the Discord, we did have a pretty successful day. We have been having a pretty successful week in the Discord actually. Um, we didn't start off the month too correctly, but we have been in the whole week. We have been uh, helping a lot of people win hundreds and hundreds of dollars. This is every day um, and we do help a bunch of people just um, win very consistently. And of course, consistency is the key. You don't just win a couple of times and then not bring it back uh, with the same type of tools and the same type of team. We have a very um, organized and a dedicated team to help people success so we are hoping to bounce back today on the youtube picks but if you guys do want to go ahead and join the discord for more consistent and higher trajectory picks you guys can click the link in the description below and join up in the discord but if you guys do want some extra free picks you guys can join the freemium discord and we do give out occasional free picks in that one as well again if you guys do want to get the most value out of these picks in the video do go ahead and subscribe and turn on your post notification button so that you guys can get the most value out of these picks before they actually get bumped because a lot of these picks do get bumped and you won't have the same value if you do choose them too late. So you do want to actually have your post notifications buttons on so that you guys can get these picks as early as possible. But without further ado, let's hop into our picks. So for the first pick for today, we'll actually be going over to the points plus rebounds tab. And we'll be going for Tyler Hero, 25.5 points plus rebounds. And this one is going to be for more. Now, if you look at his last five games, you'll be thinking, a hey, pick plug, what are you thinking? He has gone on the under for four, five out of five last games. And he's actually averaging 22 um, in the last five games. But if you look at his matchups against the Sacramento Kings, he did get um, decently close against the Suns. He did get decently close. And... They are actually um, pretty close against the Memphis as well. So he has gone under against these uh, pretty de well defending teams like the Knicks, the Bo uh, Boston Celtics. These are well defending teams, especially against guards. He did actually score pretty decently for that position. They do allow uh, little to none against uh, the guard position. But looking at his matchup today against the Washington Wizards, we can see that they are actually 30th in points allowed overall they allow the 30th most points and head to head he has gone on the over in the last game that he did play against them in um november he did actually score 24 points um let's look at points plus rebounds um he actually got 34 points plus rebounds in their last game um so the uh, last five games is actually not too relevant considering that they are well, the worst um team when it comes to defense they are actually terrible and when it comes to points allowed then they are actually the last in rebounds allowed and looking at the shooting guard position which is what uh, Tyler Hero plays there are 20th in points allowed and 27th in rebounds allowed so we should see a lot of minutes considered that normally if it was against a um, top seed team this would most likely be a blowout but looking at uh, the uh, Miami defense uh, Miami's offensive rank they are actually 27th in the league when it comes to offense and the Washington Wizards are 30th in the league when it comes to defense. So they are a pretty decent matchup. There should be plenty of uh, fast break points for Tyler Hero for him to get and their rebounding is the Washington Wizards rebounding is terrible. So he should have plenty of times to be able to get the rebounds. Now, if you guys are feeling a little bit uncomfortable with the points plus rebounds, you can actually go for the points plus assist it is more of the same he actually did end up having nine assists against the washington wizards so if you guys do want to go for the assist prop as well you guys can go for that and it is actually 
um well the ranking for the washington wizards defense is actually um a little bit better they are 27th ranked in rebounds allowed versus the shooting guard position but when it comes to assists allowed they are 28th in assists allowed so that is a little bit better and he did have nine assists in the last game versus them so if you guys want to go for any of these props they are equally as good i'm going to be choosing the tyler hero points plus rebounds for more um and you guys can choose that one for yourself as well looking at our next prop it will actually be a chalkboard prop you guys have been loving the chalkboard props as of recently because we have been hitting so consistently on them you guys can actually alternate or um for, you can alternate for a higher payout or just for a hitter a higher hit rate as you guys know chalkboard is an app that you can just alternate your lines and it's very good just for hitting consistently on a daily basis and just doing those uh, small picks just to get those small winnings or big winnings depending on what you alternate but if you guys do want to go ahead and try that out for yourself you guys can use the code trophy for 100 percent deposit match on your first deposit and you guys can download using the link in the description below but for our chalkboard prop today we will actually be going for kevin durant and his normal line is 25.5 points but we will actually be increasing that to 27.5 points for a higher payout because he is actually going up against Atlanta Hawks and this is a very high scoring margin uh, game for them both. Looking here on Outlier, we can see that in his last 10 games, we can see that he's gone over in the last three, in three out of the last 10 games, but he has been a little bit over around this line um, can pretty consistently in his last game, he did have uh, 33 points, but uh, they have not played against the Atlanta Hawks yet considering that they are ranked 29th in defense, which is just a little bit worse, a little bit better than the Washington Wizards, um, which Kevin Durant did actually score. Uh, I'm not sure what he scored, but it was definitely more than 27 points. But looking at this specific position against the small four position, they are actually 21st in points allowed. So Kevin Durant should have plenty and plenty of opportunities to score against the Atlanta Hawks since they do play little to no defense. And the... Uh, the uh, Suns are actually 15th in rank of defense. They are a better defense of them, so they should be plenty and plenty of fast break points, which Kevin Durant does actually get plenty and plenty of uh, fast break points. He does average around 38 minutes in the last 10 games, and in the last five games, he's averaged 38 minutes as well. So we can see that his minute rate is pretty high. Recently, Kevin, uh, Devin Booker has been scoring most of the points, so we should also see a pretty high scoring game from him. But that does not mean that Kevin Durant does, does not go off this night as well, considering that the Atlanta Hawks defense is pretty, pretty poor. Now, you guys can go for this prop on prize picks as well. If you guys want to, you guys can go for the 25.5 for the more versus Atlanta Hawks. I do believe this is a very good and solid line to go for. For the next prop for today, we will actually be staying in the points tab and we'll actually be going down to DeJounte Murray, 23.5 points, and this one is for more. Looking here, we can see that in his last five games, he has gone over this prop three out of five times, and the two times that he did nearly go on the under was against Golden State. He did have 23 points. He just needed one more point to go on the over, and Dallas, he just needed one more bucket to go over, so it was very, very close. He's consistently getting close to this line. In the last 10 games, we can see that he's very, very close to this anytime that he does miss. He did have a pretty of a, sh a shaky game because of the blowout versus Washington um, and more of the same versus the San Antonio Spurs. So we can see that it is very close. Um, he does get to this line very closely um, head to head. He actually did miss, but these were a uh, pretty long time ago last year, around a year ago from now. So uh, this is a, a lot different, uh, different team and he should have a very, very good opportunity of getting over 23 points since the, his usage rate has skyrocketed in the last couple of games. We can see that his minutes rate is around 35 minutes. He did have a 40 minute game where he did score 35 points against the Sacramento Kings. So that is good to see. And his last game, he did have 33 minutes scoring 24 points in a game that was actually an over, not, I wouldn't say a blowout, but it was definitely a pretty decent margin um, enough to take him out and they didn't really take him out they just gave him like 33 minutes so he does play um, a decent amount and he you know he should have enough minutes 
in this game to go on the over for the points. Like I said, this is a very high scoring margin game for the both of them. And the point, they are ranked third in the league. They are actually um, very high scoring average. And we can see that their pace factor, they are actually fifth in the league. They do play a very, very fast paced game. So this should be a very fast paced game overall. So we should see a lot of scoring from the both of them. So uh, Dejounte Murray over 23.5 points is a very good line. Um, if they bump it to 25, 25 or 24.5, I would not actually take it, um, considering that he consistently gets around 22 to 25 points. Uh, I wouldn't. I would a little. I'll be a little bit skeptical on that. But if you guys want to go for it, anyways, you guys can go ahead. But 23.5 points is where I'm going to be staying at. For our last prop for today, again, if you guys do want the full six pick parlay, go ahead and click that link in the description below and join the Discord, or you can join the freemium for extra picks for the day. Um, you guys can join that one as well. But if you guys want the full six pick parlay, go ahead and join. We have a bunch of tools in there as well that you guys can use for optimizing your own uh, sports betting. So if you guys want to go ahead and join that, go ahead and click the link in the description below. Um, as well as if you use any of the promo codes in this video, you guys can get a free month of VIP. But hopping into this next pick, we are going to be going to points plus rebounds plus assist. And we'll be scrolling down to Jordan Poole, 21.5 points plus rebounds per assist. And this one is going to be for less. Looking at his last five games, we can see that he's only going over this prop one out of the last five games. He's very inconsistent, scoring five points against the Denver Nuggets and 12 points against the Minnesota Timberwolves. And the next game, he scored 22 points. So he is very inconsistent. He is averaging 15 uh, points plus rebounds plus assists. And he, we honestly don't really know what we're going to get for him, but definitely 21.5 points plus rebounds plus assists is definitely too high for him considering the matchup against the Miami uh Heat. looking here we can see that jordan Poole has gone under in his last 10 games he's averages around 60 percent in the last 10 games he's gone under and his matchup against miami there are seventh in points allowed so they are very very good defensively in points allowed and 12th in uh, rebounds allowed so they're around middle of the pack and assists allowed they are around middle of the pack as well allowing only 19 assists uh 19 ranked 19 assists but against the point guard position they are 21st allowed and 10th allowed in points and 11th allowed in rebounds so we can see that jordan pool he is averaging around 30 minutes and he does consistently go on the under for the points plus rebounds plus assists tab he did have 33 minutes against the San Antonio Spurs, and he did only get 17 points plus rebounds plus assists, only having three rebound, three assists assist and one rebound. And this game, he did have 28 points, and he did only have seven points, two rebounds, and three assists. So we can see that he's very inconsistent, and he's consistently um, playing not too good. He is honestly, um, this is a very good prop for him to go on the under, as well as if you guys do see his fantasy score soon, um, if you guys see his fantasy score it is not up yet on prize picks, but if you do see his fantasy score, I would go on the under for that as well. That is a very good prop to go for, um, but it's not up yet on prize picks yet. But these are all the picks for today. Thank you guys for watching. Again, if you guys do want these picks consistently in these early props every single day, please go ahead and like this video. Let me know which picks that you guys are going to be telling or some picks that you guys don't like or some picks that you guys uh are going to be going for yourself without the help of this video let me know i do enjoy your insight and uh just like the video subscribe and i'll catch you guys in the next one peace